Continue to fill questions for US Simile. I have a student from within our Telegram group asking the best way to study physiology for US Simile. And I can give you a very fucking clean and excellent answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M E H L M A N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So I can tell you, studying for physio, one of the most difficult subjects to study for because unlike farm, for instance, where you can just knock out, memorize some drugs prior to your exam, physio is more of a longitudinal type of subject area where you have to glean slash garner uh, various conceptual points over a long, longer period of time. Okay, it's longitudinal. So you're going to have to go through all of UWorld. You're going to go through the NBME exams. And over time, you see enough concepts across various organ systems, okay? So that's that's another point, is that physio, you're going to have cardiac phys, GI phys, pulmonary phys. So it's hard to consolidate physio prep. It's very longitudinal, okay? Now, in terms of actual practicality, because you're watching this clip and you say, well, as opposed to just doing questions, I get that, but how do I really hammer home physio if my scores are low? I'll tell you. First, you can do my high arrows PDF, which I'll link down below, okay? There's a lot of physio incorporate in there, a lot of arrow questions, which some students will say tangentially, well, I'm not going to get 50 arrow questions on my real deal. Are you sure I need to do the high arrows PDF? It's not that you're going to get 50 fucking arrow questions. It's that if you understand the concepts, then those are going to carry over into questions that have nothing to do with arrows, okay? You, you need to understand how, how your hormones work, how your cardiovascular parameters work, up versus down. You need to understand those concepts, and then those are going to integrate in questions that have nothing to do with uh, straight up arrows per se. So, in terms of practicality, apart from just the longitudinal aspect, doing lots of questions for physio, I want you to do my high yield arrows PDF, and then you can also do my other subject PDFs, cardio, pulmonary, etc., where you will see a lot of physio in there. Okay, and then you can do my audio cue bank here on the YouTube. Okay, so if you go into my playlist here on the YouTube, you're going to see I have different subject areas, farm, internal medicine, I've got physio there. Okay, so just you can listen to the physiology questions, and that'd be a nice break as well from just straight up reading and doing questions. So you can listen to the physiology audio cue bank across many different subject areas. Okay, and you can do those while you're at the gym, cooking, cleaning, brushing your teeth, flossing. You have the phone there on the countertop. You just listen to the questions, okay? So I want you doing the audio cue bank for physio here on my YouTube. I want you to do my high yield arrows PDF as well as my other PDFs, which I'm linking below. And you're going to have to do a shitload of questions. There are other resources out there for physio, okay? And I'm agnostic about them. It's just when we talk about the goal of you getting through the step one exam slash comp slash CBSE for some of you, it really needs to come down to uh, not being superfluous with the study. There are other resources that will teach physiology, but they're overkill and a waste of fucking time for step exam, okay? So you're gonna do your questions. You're going to do my high, my high yield arrows PDF. You can go through my subject PDFs, which have a lot of phys, and I want you listening to my audio cue bank for physiology uh, here on the YouTube. Just go through my playlists. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.